greet you from Duncanville, Texas, which is near Dallas. And I have some glass pieces here to show you. I ordinarily do abstract work in glass, but occasionally I'll do a stylized piece to celebrate diversity. So I call this series my Unity Garden. Anyway, in this piece, I wanted to convey a sense of human nobility and joy by depicting an African woman with arms upraised. Baha'u'llah's quotation inspired the work. Noble have I created thee, yet thou hast abased thyself. Rise then unto that for which thou wast created. I believe that when we can see each other and ourselves as noble creations, the world will be transformed into a true garden of humanity. My parents were civil rights workers in the South. My mother was trying to help integrate the school system at a time when it was very difficult, and my father marched in Selma with Martin Luther King, Jr. So I grew up understanding the need for and the importance of racial unity. And since then, I've been part of many discussion groups that have focused on how we can all be better advocates for people of color. And one of these groups was called Pupil of the Eye. This other piece was made by my friend Ariana Kimball and myself working together. She's a high school senior who will be majoring in art at UT Austin in the fall. Ariana and I have worked on projects before, like our Duncanville Wall Mural, sponsored by the city, and our Duncanville Rocks project. When we heard about the exhibit, we sat down and made a collage together. It contains the words, The pupil of the eye is dark in color, yet it is the fount of light. In the idea phase, we envision light coming from a dark pupil. We both think that art can do much to bring our awareness to the need for social change. Though I'm many miles away from you, I am thrilled to be part of this exhibit, and I hope that all the artists and the viewers can find new ways to help promote race unity and help change the world. Mm -hmm.